up guys welcome back to another fragrance review i'm your host rob and this is my channel rob with uh today i'm going to be bringing to you a really uh nice uh video for you guys i'm going to give you my top 10 most worn and some of my most complimented winter fragrances for uh winter of 2016 and when i mean winter 2016 i don't mean in the beginning i mean towards the end of 2016 entering 2017. so guys let's give you my list my number my number 10 will be ultramal from jean paul gaultier Ultramal is a very nice sweet scent, has somewhat of a sherry note to it, uh, almost has uh, the, you know, those Italian ice uh, you know, that they, that they scratch up in the summer, has that sherry smell, along with strawberries, nice tonka bean, very nice long-lasting scent, really nice to go out to the clubs and warm casually. Love this scent. My number 10, Ultramal. My number 9. Of course, I can't leave this guy out. One million. Paco Rabanne's One Million. Very popular for a good reason. It's a really nice, wonderful, alluring scent. Uh, it's going to get you noticed. It's a powerhouse. When you spray this, uh, you know, you really got to go easy on the trigger because it, it, it might give you a little bit of a nose fatigue, but people will smell you. And uh, girls love this. It's just, uh, you know... It's, it's been around for a while, and it sells like crazy for that reason. It's just, it's, it grabs a lot of attention. One million, my number nine. The number one bubblegum scent. <laughs> now, moving on to my number eight. It's uh, Pure Havan. Pure Havan from Mugler. Now, this is my favorite uh, Mugler, uh, my Mugler uh, fragrance. And this is a uh, really nice uh, honey tobacco scent with a uh, vanilla, uh, dominant vanilla uh, uh, tone to it. And it's uh, really nice. Uh, this can be worn casually, dressy. And uh, you know what? This is a really nice uh, first date scent. Uh, as it dries down, you know, along uh, as the time goes by, it's just, you know, you carry this nice uh, aura of vanilla, almost like a Yankee candle. I know that sounds a little weird, but, you know, almost like a vanilla ice cream. Really nice, beautiful scent. Highly recommend it. My favorite from the house. Pure Havana. Moving on to uh, number seven. Number seven. This is no slouch. I know it's at number seven, but this is really nice uh, scent. Uh, beautiful, spicy uh, vanilla scent. And uh, this is uh, Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf. Really nice. Um, you know, you can actually wear this... Uh, you know, dressy as well, you know, if you go east on the trigger and uh, really nice when it's really cold outside and it and it, and it just comes out of your body and, uh, you know, leaves a nice scent trail and this is uh, really grabs and costs a lot of attention. And even though it's been out uh, uh, for a while, it really, it, it really doesn't feel dated and uh, really it's, it's hard to beat this. And, um, you know anybody that ha likes a nice uh, spicy sweet scent uh, this you, you got to have this in your collection uh, really nice and uh, girls love this scent love it number seven moving on to my number six now I call this the big brother of uh, Paco Rom's uh, one million uh, this was um, Armani Code uh, Profumo and uh, this has the same uh, Pretty much similar, uh, very similar scent to uh, Paco Rabanne's uh, One Million uh, with the nice uh, bubblegum note. Uh, you know, when you think of bubblegum, you're thinking of, uh, you know, bazooka or something like that. No, it's, uh, it's just that typical bubblegum scent, not minty, sweet. Uh, and um, it has a, a nice uh, leathery tone to it that makes it uh, the uh, more mature. So that, that's why I say it's like the big brother of... Uh, one million and this can be worn dressy casually and uh, really nice uh, attention getter and uh, you know it's not very popular so that's what I like about it a lot of people don't know about this stuff so really nice one so moving on to my number five we're getting real close number five uh, you know this doesn't get talked about uh, much and I think it should get more hyped even though it's been around for so long and you know you can get this so cheap right now uh 
And without further ado, Lolita Lompica, El Masculine. Uh, you know, this is a limited edition. I don't know if you can find this. It has like almost like a suede feel to it. But uh, when you look, when you do look for it, uh, you know, you can find this in eBay for like 20 bucks for a 3.4 ounce. And, um, you know, you'll see it in the blue almost like a transparent blue but with the same design uh it'll, it'll have like a golden cap you know uh you know don't worry about formulation on that stuff they all do great uh i tested this uh with the new one and uh, not much of a difference this is probably a little longer lasting because this is i don't know if they water it down a little bit but it's just very very minute the differences are very little but the smell is the same, the dry down is the same, and you get a nice licorice vanilla note. And um, I really love this uh, to be worn casually. When I want to, even when you're wearing a nice uh, dress shirt and some jeans, this goes really well. And it really gives you this warming scent, uh, really relaxing warming scent. And you know, I pair this with my wife uh, when she wears the Lolita and Pika for women, and it's really nice. I, I love that one. It's actually one of my favorite Gramonts that she has in. Um, in her uh, uh, little collection uh, so yeah really nice uh, you're gonna love this uh, and when you think of licorice don't think of the candy licorice this is a more toned down licorice a little bit of anise but mainly a uh, vanilla really nice vanilla note with that licorice there lovely nice first aid scent really nice now moving on to my number four this guy's uh, Man, this guy, uh, my respect to what they did with this scent. Uh, Pure Malt from Mugler. This is a beautiful scent. Um, and I have a backup bottle of this because I love it so much. And I'm scared that, you know, they always say limited edition. You know, you don't find them in the stores. You got to get them. You got to get them through their site. Like I said, I shop a lot through eBay. And uh, I was able to get this for like 45 bucks. And I have my backup too. I don't remember... How much I pay for that but whenever I wear this for some reason I get really excited it's like man uh, really nice leather uh, note to it uh, whiskey almost rum whiskey note to it and um, it has this uh, chocolatey uh, you know this uh, uh, chocolate almost uh, nutty vibe to it really nice when it dries down you know it's it's really elegant it can be worn dressy casually and it really it, you know it when you wear this, uh, woman, if you if you're around girls, girls will tell you, you know, you smell really nice, and it's funny because it has this clay note to it too. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Whoever uh, whoever you guys that are watching this video now uh, have this, it has some almost like a play doh type uh, smell to it with that whiskey, uh, and it's it gives you that it gives it that playful edge and uh, really nice. It's not it's not a powerhouse, but you know you do get. Uh, for the duration of the time that you have it, you're going to get two feet uh, projection and it just carries with you. It leaves a nice uh, scent trail. Beautiful scent. I love it. And um, you, you got to have this. If you want uh, the best uh, the best fragrances from their line, in my opinion, uh, Pure Havan and Pure Malt. Moving on to number three. No slouch again. Wonderful scent. This is uh, one of my favorites from the house. And... Uh, you know, they're all intense. You know, you can't go wrong. Old formulation, new formulation. I don't care what you have. I smell the old one. Um, the differences are not huge. Like, whoa, I gotta. I, I can't get the new one because it, no, forget about that. The uh, uh, old intense is the old the old intense. Uh, you you can't change that. It's a it's a great scent. You're gonna smell good. You you're not gonna smell like anybody. So. That's the first thing you got to think of when you have a when you're looking for a scent that's gonna that you know uniqueness and this is the way to go super unique nice cacao smell cacao vanilla nutty smell and uh, it's just like a powder like a powder chocolate smell and uh, it's got a nice iris to it and um, you might not find this in the store but think of uh, the Dior Homme the original Dior Homme same thing. But just add uh, chocolate powder to that and make it a little spicier. And then you got the Arm Intense. Uh, you cannot go wrong. This is a high compliment getter. This is probably one of my best from their line. I love it. I love it to death. 
and I have a backup of this too. I have the five ounce. Uh, got a great deal on that. And uh, by the way, if you're curious, this is um, let me see. This is a 2014 batch. Yeah, 2014. That's batch 4S01. If you're curious, and I do have a 2015 batch, and it's the same. You know, if you're gonna get the newer badges, uh, 14, 15, 16, I smell that. It's the same. So don't worry about batch variations. Uh, it's gonna be a beautiful scent no matter what. My number three. Must have. My number two. Bam! Love this scent, man. Damn, man. This is amazing. I got this when it first came out. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. What do you get from this? Uh, I never tasted the dessert that's being uh, that's being described uh, by Tom Ford Coffee. But what I get, I do get the pistachio that they mentioned. You're going to get a wonderful pistachio scent. And it's like a roasted pistachio. A little spicy, uh, beautiful scent, man. Sexy as hell. Shit. You wear this, you're going to get noticed. And um, really nice. This is a nice, really nice date scent. Uh, this is a really elegant scent. It's, it's going to make you, it's going to give you that sexy edge when, you, when you're dressing. You can wear this casually, dressy as well. And again, these are for winter. So, I mean, some of these you can probably pull them off in the summer if you go light, but Wonderful scent, man. Number two for a goddamn good reason. Shh. Man, this guy is, you know, does an amazing job and, you know, thumbs up to him, man. This He did a great job with this. This ain't going nowhere. This is staying with me and this will probably be in my top three for a long time. And my number one. I know you guys have been waiting for this one, my number one. And, um, you know, I talked about this already in my channel. And, um, you know, I don't know. People are sleeping on this, man. You got to, man, you, you guys have to, you know, get your hands on this. Why are you waiting so long? Just get it. It's 80 bucks. If you guys are, you know, you guys are collectors. You guys are spending two, 300 bucks on fragrances you might not even wear. You'll wear once just to probably, you know, probably uh, do a review on it or just you know, just say that you have it. Why don't you, you know, take take. A little bit of your money, which is like 80 bucks, or save your money, and get this. You know, 1821 Men Made. Man, this thing is the bomb, man. This this smells so good. Uh, it's beautiful. My wife loves the hell out of this. I love it, you know. And it has uh, the, you know, uh, the three best things you can have when it comes to winter. And when it comes to, you know, getting attention and... Getting noticed by by you know opposite uh, uh, you know the opposite sex and it's sweet you know it's 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 alluring it's soft and it's got the tobacco it gives you it has that tobacco scent um, you know check out my review for this um, and you know guys you can probably get this for like eighty bucks you can probably look at eBay I've seen it on jcpenny.com check that out. Also check uh, their website. Uh, I don't work for them. I just love the scent. And why do I love it so much? Like I said, it has a nice wine note. It has a vanilla note to it. And it has a honey note to it. And it also has some fruits in there that really makes it uh, really makes it stand on its own. You know, it's beautiful scent. My number one. My number one. And hopefully it stays close within that range of one to three. Uh, along the uh, years because I really love this scent. Guys, that was my list from 1 to 10 of my top most uh, worn winter fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, guys, have a great day and, uh, you know, Valentine's Day, you know, look around. I'll be coming up with that list soon too. Guys, I mean, if you haven't tuned in, please tune in to my channel, subscribe, Turn on that bell so you get some future notifications. And uh, guys, salute to everybody. Thank you to everybody that's been supporting me. And have a good day.